Hello, 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 and welcome back to Glorious Crafts. Today I'm going to be making a wreath, a sunflower wreath, which I saw on Amazon, and I thought was absolutely stunning. This is what it looks like, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. If you buy their kit to make this wreath, it only comes with three... 10 inch rolls of burlap deco mesh. That's it. These three. But you're going to need the checked deco mesh, which is right there. So I bought that also. It's a lot bigger. It's very, very expensive. But I love sunflowers. Now, for the middle, I'm not going to do my middle like this. I'm going to show you a different thing I learned from a lady on on YouTube and I will mention her name when I come back to do that but for right now th these are the supplies you're going to need you're going to need a wood burner scissors I have a 14 inch wreath I also have pipe cleaners I do not have zip ties I have a non-skid mat which is going to be the middle of my wreath and I also have one of these and that's where I'm going to do my center which will be separate so to get started what I'm going to do is move these items out of the way and you're going to need either a glass cutting board or a glass table because your wood burner will burn your table if it's wood so I'm going to take my mat and I'm going to cut it where it's creased real quick it's a non-skid mat you can use the plastic grid I don't have that I'm not going to use it because I don't have it so for my wreath I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to just lay down my matting or my skid non-skid and I'm going to take hot glue and go around if it was only on oh it is and go around my entire area my plug came unplugged I apologize for that So, oh, that's part of the wreath. It's going to take a couple seconds to heat up, but I want to go around my entire mat grid. I'm going to call it a grid. And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and put them on there also. I believe the name of the YouTube channel that I learned how to do the ruffle for the middle is called On the Porch Design, but I want to check that because she's fabulous and she explains it very well and hopefully I can explain it as good as she did, but I think it's going to be a gorgeous center. So there is that. You want to give it time to dry because I did not and I kerfuffled it all up right like that let it dry now I'm going to oh my goodness, take my zip ties not my zip ties you can use zip ties I have pipe cleaners mud pipe cleaner and I'm going to put it through the, the mat, the grid, whatever you want to call it. Probably going to have to glue it down again because of the fact that I moved it too quickly. Take your scissors and cut. Very simple. 
I'm going to also do the other side of my wreath form. So you want to go through as close to this bar, twist it a couple times and cut. Yeah, I did not give it enough time. So each one of these brackets right here, that's where you're going to put your pipe cleaner through. So you put it through your grid and you put it through your other part of the grid just like that. Pull it, pull it, pull it, and twist, and cut. So when you're done doing all that, then you should glue it down. So my suggestion is don't do what I did. Do what makes perfect sense, which is do the pipe cleaners first, then add the glue. Alright, normally when I make a wreath, I go 10 inches and I cut. For this wreath, I'm going to go 11 inches. And I'm going to show you why in a moment. So, sorry about that. I lost my wood burner. So, you're going to want to burn between the boxes. And I'm going to show you what I mean. They have these little tiny boxes, little tiny boxes here. You want to burn all the way down where you're, you're making your mark. So you're going to do a straight cut all the way down where in between the boxes. Every petal for this flower is going to be the exact same in every color. So we're starting with the black because the black is the leaves. Now, what you want to do next is, I hope my wood burner doesn't jump off my table again. Okay, you want to fold it in a triangle. Now you're going to have excess because we have it at 11. See how there's excess here? And then there's some excess over here. So I want to seal on both sides with my wood burner so that it looks classier on my door and it doesn't have any frayed edges. You want to go slow but not too slow as to burn. Um, melt it. So I am just going down carefully, not really, really quick. It gets difficult near near the point here. That gets a little kerfuffled. So then I'm going to do the other side. So you fold it down and you just want to seal the end first and then come all the way down. Your triangle. Now, this should be totally closed, and it is. I have extra, so you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut next to where you use the wood burner, just like that. Okay, now to make the petal, you may use zip ties using pipe cleaners. So you want to fold it curve side down and you're going to squanch, 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 just like this. Push it back like that. Take your pipe cleaner, give it some twist. 
you and right here it's open right here it's open so I'm going to take my wood burner and gently run it along so that it closes it I'm going to also cut my pipe cleaner it's too long and anything that's frayed I'm going to cut off so there it is right there now I'm going to do it in another color to show you what I mean so I have the checked pattern so I'm going to measure out 11 inches and the 11 inches comes right here but I don't want to cut through there I want to cut through this box right here and you can see it better right here so you're just dragging it through and that's why you need a glass table or a glass cutting board so that you are not burning anything also you need a well ventilated area do it outside that's why you're hearing people cutting grass and all my windows are open have a fan on just so you don't breathe in all the toxins so just like before you're going to fold it jumping off my table you're going to fold it into a triangle you're going to have a little extra and a little less so make sure your points match up push it down take your wood burner and run it along so that the ends stay together just like this I absolutely love sunflowers. I like flowers in general. I don't know why I'm saying just sunflowers. I really love flowers in general. So you just want to go down your entire piece of checked deco mesh because you want to seal it in. You don't have to do this. You can do the other way also, which I will show you that too. But it's basically the same, but you don't have to burn the ends. You can do it 10 inches. Don't burn the ends. Just do the regular triangle 10 inches. And um, you don't have to burn the ends. I just think it looks professionally done, I guess, is the words I'm trying to say. So, you have your burlap deco mesh the check kind and you are going to decide the curls under squanch 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 just like that get your pipe cleaner and twist that bad boy in there just like that any extra wispies or anything just cut them off any extra just cut it off okay that is how all of your petals are going to be but I'm going to show you the other way to cut without having to seal it so you're going to take your roller you're going to measure out 10 inches ten inches and like I said you want to go between the boxes and right between the boxes you're just going to use your wood burner to cut now this is 10 inches not 11 you're not going to have extra but I'm going to show you how to do it this way
Okay. Same as before, you're going to fold it in half into a point, just like that, and then squunch, squunch, squunch. See, and it's still just as beautiful. Still just as beautiful. But I thought it added a little bit more pizzazz to my petal, securing them together. You don't have to do that. You will also waste a lot more of your mesh if you're doing the 11 inches and closing it. Cut off whatever's frayed, and that's it. Easy peasy. So we're going to start. This has been done. So it has pipe cleaners and the skid resistant mat. It's a 14 inch frame. Got it at Dollar Tree. Now, from what the picture looks like, they have the black on the outside. I don't believe I'm going to be using right here because it's a lot. So, if this is 14 inches, I'm assuming this is 12. Mm, no. This close to 12 right here. And that's the one I'm going to use. So, I'm going to be putting the black ones. And you want them, let me think. Do I want them up or down? I'd like them down. You're going to take your pipe cleaner you're going to go down here to this bar and right here and you are going to slip your pipe cleaner in there give it a couple twists now if you think this moves too much you can put it underneath and bring it out and it won't move at all okay so I'm going to start with the black first and add them all the way around and see how many black ones can fit in the space between here and here if I have too much pipe cleaner or you have too much just fold it over so it's not going to be sticking out so right here is one petal here's another one so this one's not going to be really secure because it's not on the end but that's okay because you're going to be adding, I think, five more in between each bar. Like in this section, I believe there's going to be five. But we shall see. So here's the second one. We shall see. So that's two right now on the same bar. more do another one turn it twice I like to turn it twice you don't have to it's your choice and then do this as secure as possible and then tuck your pipe cleaner in so, so far I have three Here's another one, four, might end up being five plus the one for the um, bar, which would be six. So, so that's four right now. Here's the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. So this one's going to go to the bar. So it is exactly five. That's what I'm doing. I don't want them all on top of each other either. So five is perfect. Okay. I believe you've got the gist of this. 
I will come back and show you what it looks like and tell you how many I use. So, so far I have five on here. We're going to see if I need more or less. I reevaluated my petals. So there's 12 around the outside because this is not the flower itself, it's the leaves. So I have one on the bracket, one in the middle, one on the bracket. So that's what I have done. Now I'm going to be using this color mesh. To clean this up a bit and I am going to go down one and put it in between the two black ones so I'm going on to this bar right here which will hold the other ones in place so underneath twist twist and then the yellow and black petal right in the middle and then tuck underneath so if you have any wispies I suggest you don't pull them I suggest you cut them now for the next yellow one so I'm just going to be putting these black and yellow ones between all of the black ones and I will let you know how many I use because this is part of the sunflower and I'm on the other bracket in front of the second bracket so it would be I guess the third bracket because this is one one two three four so I'm on the third bracket holding or putting my flowers petals together right in between right here so underneath underneath twist twist and then petal so and I believe I'm not exactly sure. I was going to tell you how many I'm going to use, but I don't know and I don't want to tell you the wrong answer. You basically want to make sure that it's full. So the next colors we're going to use is the yellow with the checks. And you don't need a lot. You only need a couple. But we're going to go down here a little further onto our little mat and so you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to put it through I want it kind of near here because this one is closer so through here and through sorry about that here you put it just like that you want to kind of have it in the middle and you're going to take your checkered which is very very pretty and you are going to twist it here okay just like that so get another one apologize for reaching over move your wreath around and I'm going to put one right about here so you're going to take your pipe cleaners and you want it in between the other checks so put it in here through your little grid just like that and add your other yellow I think this is so pretty I didn't even know till I saw this sunflower on Amazon that they had this pretty checked burlap and I am 
I'm a big fan right now. I am basically in love. So, between the yellows and in front of the black is where I'm going to be putting my petals. Not exactly on top of each other, but put it through your grid. This would probably be much easier if it wasn't a floor mat, but this is what I have. So, put it through your grid as close to the other one as possible. Take your yellow and twist it in here. Now, if you think you need more and you want to add another one here and here, whatever you feel comfortable with, you do. I am going to continue and then I'll come back and see if I like it and if I don't think it's enough. Then I'll add more. If I think it's just the right amount, I'll add, I won't will add anymore. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to continue that. Now we're going to add the yellow. So you want to come down here further onto your grid. And you want this yellow piece in between these yellow pieces. Now you can make yours as fluffy as you'd like. It's entirely up to you. I, once I'm done this, I am literally going to check it out before I add my middle and see if I think it's full enough. If I don't, I am going to add more. So I am just putting the yellow because this is the main part of the flower in between the other yellow but down further on my grid and I had already put the ties on my petal which makes it go a lot faster but you want to go down further and stick it through Not see the other piece, so I'm pulling the one through, and I need the other piece, which is bent. Put that in there. Twist him up, him or her up. So I'm going to continue putting these on here in between these, and then I'm going to check it out and see if I need to add more, and I'll let you know. To me, this looks outstanding so far. I think it's awesome. So, now we're going to work on the middle. So let's do that. This is the ruffle middle that I learned from On The Porch Design on YouTube. She's lovely. I got this at Walmart. It's just brown burlap. I don't use my wood burner for for um, regular burn burlap because I just I don't know if it would work or not I don't think it would so I only want to use half of this and let me see if my tag tells me how much this is it's 5.5 .5 inches of unwired brown burlap so I'm gonna roll this all the way out that's what you want to do because I'm only going to use half of the roll but you need to roll it all the way out and that's what I'm doing rolling it all the way out and you're going to put the two ends together just like this and you're going to look for give me one moment still putting the two ends together here and you're going to continue to go all the way down to where it meets here and you're going to cut this with your scissors so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm just cutting across my burlap so it's now in half 
for this part, you're going to take your hot glue gun and the frayed edge, not the one that has the seam on it. You're going to take your glue and run a thin line down the edge, just like this. Okay? Now you can use finger protectors. I don't have any, so I'm going to use this roller. So you basically want to fold this piece over. I was going to use that to push it down, but I don't need to because it's not that hot. So you want the whole end turned over so it's not going to fray. Then, so you go to the next side where it's already been sewn, the finish edge, and you fold it in half. Now, apparently, when you pull the string, this sometimes comes apart. So you want to put a little glue there, your hot glue, right where the middle is, so that it won't come apart, right there. That's all. You don't have to do the whole entire edge. You just want it right there. So I'm going to take my little roller that I have and mash that down on there so that the glue is not real hot. Now you can see it better. Right like that. So it's in the middle so it's not going to come apart. Once that's done, you want to go back to the unfinished end and you want to fold it in half and make your lines meet up. There's a little piece hanging off. I'll cut that later. So you want to go pretty far down and fold it in half and have them meet in the middle, right in the middle, and have your edges line up just like that. Then, you're going to come over here and, can you see this thread right here? That's what you're going to cut. So, you cut that one piece out, and this is what you're going to use to pull your bird. My battery went dead, so I'm not exactly sure what you heard or didn't hear. So, you're going to cut that piece out. Now, if you're having problems because your burlap is too rough, just rough it up. So, you want to pull hard, but not too hard. And this is what's going to make your ruffle. So, you're just going to keep moving it down as you go. Gently, but firmly. Like I said, if it's too tough, which mine is, I'm going to try and rough it up a bit. And if you see, it's starting to have a pattern of ruffles, which is really, really cool. So, just keep moving it down. Gently but firmly. Keep pulling this back. You don't want to leave a space in your ruffle either. So just continue to pull both ends, pulling it down while you're pulling the string. Rough it up some more. I think this is a genius idea, and um, she's awesome. I didn't catch her name. I've watched her video like nine million times to figure out how to do this, but I, I couldn't hear her name, so I apologize. But the woman who showed me how to do this on YouTube, her name I don't of her page is on the porch design. I don't know where she learned it, but it's awesome. So, 
just keep continually pulling down rough up your burlap if you have to make sure it's folded in the middle rough it up and pull it down just like that you don't want to do it too fast you don't want to do it all at once because you don't want your spring to break so you're going to keep going down as you go to so get closer to the end so you're just holding your string while your ruffle is going and keep pushing back okay just keep pushing back to get towards the end so now that you're done you want to go back to the beginning and here's your string so you basically want to take your glue gun and put a drop of glue you won't see this right where your string is because you want that string not to come off when you cut it so you want to push it down with your finger protectors and everything so the string won't come out and now you're safe to cut the string just like that and here's your ruffles here's your extra string so you're going to take your grid and you're going to get a pipe cleaner a long pipe cleaner I have the Chanel one and you are going to put it in right here and right here don't pull it all the way leave some space so you want your pipe cleaner in here and this is what's going to attach to your reef right here okay so that's done now you're going to take your ruffle and you want to turn it over and see how you want it on either side and you can still manipulate this on your string but be gentle you don't want to break that string because then you lose all your ruffles but you want your ruffles apart on either side of said string but lay them kind of flat the best you can okay all the way down your ruffle so now that you laid out everything flat you want your string your original string to be on the bottom okay and then you want to take your pipe cleaner and you want to put it through where the string is in the middle so let me see if I can show you this better here's my string right here it's taunt right here so you want to take your pipe cleaner put it through each side you can use a zip tie if you'd like but you want that string because that's what's going to help you put it on you know what your ruffle so then you're going to take this here is your grid and you want to put this very very close to your grid so right in there very 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 close to where your original pipe cleaner is okay and you know, twist it and then you're going to cut it
just like that. Okay? Now that you have it secure, you are going to continue to put your pipe cleaners in here close to where you are and you're going to go around in a circle for your center. So again, put it through above the string. Take it and you want to go close to your original pipe cleaner and pull it. Okay? Twist and cut. Show you again. Take your pipe cleaner. I think I need one closer to the end, but we will see because I might not. I don't have string really close here. So I'm thinking I might not need to because I'm going to wrap this around. So as you go wrapping it, you take your pipe cleaner, you put it through above the string because that's what's going to hold it. Go close to the center where you started. Pull it through, twist it, and cut. Kind of starts to look like a rose because you're wrapping it around just like this. And I'm going to continue to wrap around and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Here's the ruffled center all done. I stopped using, zip, uh, not zip ties, but pipe cleaners and I started hot gluing it. But I think it's absolutely adorable. So now we're going to put it on our wreath. So let me get my wreath. Here's my wreath. And you're going to take your center and you're going to put it through your grid on the back. Take your center, put it through. Right here, you're putting it through, turning it over, tying it on. Then when I got done with the ruffle part, which is right here, I then in turn hooked it to the back of my skid mat. Um, my suggestion to you is if you're going to sell these or give it away as a gift, I would cover this with some type of fabric. I then made a little bumblebee or giant bumblebee out of um, needle felting. I made this little bumblebee. So this is what it looks like all done. I think it's really nice. Let me show you. Look at the detail. I love the ruffle center. So thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.